Ken Buck, Republican congressman from Colorado and ranking member on the House Anti -Sub Antitrust Subcommittee. Congressman, really good to have you on this Sunday morning. And I want to start here by saying, you know, given that antitrust laws exist to enforce the rules of a competitive marketplace, what would you say is the most enforceable rule of your new bill? Well, I think there are a number, um, really slowing down the mergers between uh, these corporations, the, the, their ability to gobble up competitors. Uh, these bipartisan bills uh, also make sure that we uh, focus on uh, predatory pricing uh, in the marketplace. Uh, they also uh, make sure that we are uh, funding the agencies. The agencies actually have less funding now than they had 10 years ago. And so it's so important that the watchdog groups that are uh, conducting this oversight have the ability to do so. And it, what did you say uh, in terms of, um, I understand that you want to keep these uh, corporations from dipping their hands into politics and contributing to campaigns in a major way? Well, they're going to do that. They, they spend uh, uh, $52 million in Washington, D.C. to influence public policy. And they are uh, very afraid of these bills. They're very opposed to these bills. Um, this is a result of an 18-month investigation. This isn't something that just happened overnight. 18 months, bipartisan investigation, bipartisan bills. And really, this gets to the heart of censorship, when you understand that only these monopolies can censor individuals. We, we don't have censorship in cable news. We don't have censorship with newspapers. We have censorship because Facebook and, and Amazon and Google, uh, uh, Apple own uh, a monopoly share of the marketplace and can do as they want with speech in this country. And I was doing some research, of course, in anticipation to speak with you this this afternoon. According to FEC records, Federal Election Commission, uh, your reelection campaign, Buck for Colorado, received uh, twenty five five thousand dollars from Google's PAC and twenty five hundred dollars from Amazon's Political Action Committee. That was just last year in twenty twenty. So, what has changed in short order? If you feel like you know perhaps these companies have too much political sway, talk to me about that. Well, I have, uh, uh, after doing this 18-month investigation and seeing the, the lying and cheating that these companies uh, partake in, I have uh, uh, started a pledge and asked other Republicans, and other Republicans have joined my pledge, not to accept any money from these high-tech companies. And I will continue to ask more and more Republicans to get on with that uh, pledge, because it's so important. It's sure. not that uh, $7,500 out of a uh, million dollars raised is going to influence any politician, but uh, the perception by the public is, is an important perception. And I don't, I don't mean to be contentious at all. I want to get this on, on the record, though. So would you, do you plan to return the, the $7,500 that you received from those two companies? I'm not going to do that. I, I have uh, spent that money on the last campaign. Uh, the last campaign was successful. I'm here to represent the, the citizens of the 4th Congressional District, and I will not take money going forward after that investigation has been completed. Okay. Um, how do you uh, update antitrust laws, keep the guardrails on the way corporations and companies do business in the U.S. without hamstringing their competitiveness in the global market? Well, uh, the, the global market is also looking at these companies. There are actions in Europe. There are actions in, in uh, Asia. Uh, these companies are under scrutiny across uh, the, the world, really, because of the uh, activities that they have engaged in and the monopolies and, and how they are hampering uh, innovation. And that's really the key for the American economy is we need to make sure that we out-innovate China and that we out-innovate European companies. And we do that with small startup companies that, that take risks and investors who are willing to invest in those small startup companies. With these monopolies crushing competition, mm -hmm. we don't stand much chance of, of continuing to innovate. And in fact, this morning in his press conference, President Biden says that G7 nations discuss corruption and the abuse of shell companies and mon money laundering through real estate, et cetera. So are these shared concerns in Congress? Is there a connection here with what you're putting forth? A absolutely. I think that uh, uh, members of the House and, and Senate, and in fact, uh, one of the bills that, that we are uh, talking about and that we introduced recently uh, passed the Senate unanimously. Republicans and Democrats uh, on board with that bill. Another bill uh, that I introduced, uh, uh, Senator Lee from, from Utah, the ranking Republican 
um, on the Senate Antitrust Subcommittee uh, has introduced. And so these bills have bipartisan support, and there has been a discussion for quite a while about the necessity to bring these bills forward. Okay, well, Congressman Ken Buck, uh, with success, or hopefully you'll have your success, and either way, will you come back and talk to us and give us a, an update? Will you do that? I look forward to that. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, sir.